Hey everyone, it's Matt aka Tech Ranger, and today we're going to be taking a look at Fallout 4 with uh, 60 frames per second on the Xbox Series X. Now that doesn't happen automatically, we've talked about some of the shortfalls of a mod like this on Skyrim, but now we're going to do so on Fallout 4 and then show you guys some different environments as well as actually show you what you need to install in your Lord Order in order to get 60 frames per second, mostly on Fallout 4 for the Xbox Series X. Now this is specifically for the Xbox Series X. You can install this mod on the Xbox One and the Xbox One S and X, but your mileage will vary, and most likely it will also vary with the Series X as well. Depending on what your load order is and what my load order is, you know, it's going to be different. So I'm going to show you, like, what's working for me, what the possible pitfalls are, and then again, like I said, we're going to look at a few different environments and see how 60 frames per second actually holds up in Fallout 4. So if you like this sort of thing, you like Fallout 4 mod videos, you like Skyrim mod videos, and helpful, fun gaming videos for the Xbox, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And uh, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now if you're new to the channel and you're checking out uh, the channel for the first time with this video, we did go over some of the pitfalls already in the Skyrim 60 frames per second video, which I will link above. But we're going to look at what we actually need for the FPS that we want, which is targeting 60 frames per second. It's really just going to unlock the frame rate for us. And to do this, we're going to install the FPS unlock mod. Now this I've kind of combined with some other mods, just performance mods to actually give me closer to that 60 frames. As mod states, there can be some crashes. So just be aware of that and quick save your game every now and then because when you're exiting the cave like I did it just automatically crashed and obviously I was recording this video so it's not like I was in an intense gameplay session but if you are that is something also to keep in mind. While they can introduce their own issues, performance mods in general are always good to have in Fallout 4 and Skyrim for that matter. And Nitrous is something in Fallout 4 that I use quite a bit because it takes away those god rays which are especially kind of taxing on your game. While they do look pretty nice, they're just a little too much. So as a result here, you see it's on. So it gives the game a different look on top of the uh, ENB like tray and film looks that I already have on. Um, if you want to see what that's all about, I do have videos on that as well. But anyways, this is uh, something that I really like just because it gives the game like a really clean feel, but you're also going to notice that it's pretty stable. Going into Boston, for example, with Nitras and FPS Unlock, I actually was able to kind of run around and do whatever I wanted without really seeing any massive performance drops. Now, obviously, when you're pushing like over 30, the lines of like what is 60, what is 50, it kind of blurred, but you do kind of notice it. And if you get some drop frames here and there with the FPS Unlock, it's not going to be like dropping frames from 30 frames per second because that's just going to be a lot more choppier than this ever would. So that is something I would definitely suggest trying would be to test out Boston in particular because that is where your performance hit is going to be the most. But it won't make everything magically perfect. There are points in the game where you will see screen tearing because of the FPS unlock mod. And here I've slowed it down about 10% speed. And if you could see that, that was actually a screen tear. So you might see this on occasion. It might not bother you, which is fine. And uh, I just thought I would bring it up and show you what it looks like. That way you know what it is and you know what to expect. So we looked at what we need, we saw some gameplay in the background, but let's look at some more examples and see how the game fares in different areas of the game. So we've already gotten into some combat scenarios and that kind of translates into Nuka World as well, but I did kind of want to walk around some of the environments in the main part of the Nuka World expansion. And you'll notice some like judders here and there when you're running around, but that is normally just a Fallout 4 thing anyway, so that just kind of translates with this mod as well. Uh, for the most part, I didn't encounter any crashes, uh, not in Nuka World at least, uh, so I don't know if I just needed to go in and out of buildings a lot more, because that's something, as we saw earlier in the video, that's something that actually happened to me in Far Harbor, so that is something to note. But uh, for the most part, Nuka World was pretty solid. Uh, I didn't run into any real uh, performance issues, just a few frame drops here and there. 
The most interesting test for me here was actually getting to Nuka World through the gauntlet. And uh, because there's a lot of shooting, there's a lot of like traps and things getting activated that uh, can kind of really bring your game down. But I've noticed like the occasional like explosion here and there that might drop some frames really kind of in the same area of performance as the other areas of the game we've already looked at. Obviously, depending on how you have things laid out in your load order and what kind of performance mod you have, you know, your mileage might vary here uh, wildly or just a little bit. But for the most part, like even the combat scenarios that I got in, um, they weren't uh, anything taxing. The only thing I noticed was like explosions when those would happen. As we looked at earlier in the video, that's when you would maybe see like a screen tear or something along those lines. I thought we'd switch gears to Far Harbor because this one is a little bit interesting because we do have uh, the fog, which is actually pretty taxing on even the Xbox One, not to mention even the Series X. This seemed to be the area of the game that the game struggled a little bit more even with that FPS unlock than it did in other areas of the game. And that's even including Boston, which is pretty interesting because that is usually the spot where you're going to have issues if you are going to have any whatsoever. Because Boston is just full of enemies and it's also just super taxing on your system. If you install the FPS unlock mod, you do have an option here with Far Harbor. If the performance is just like a little too much for you, you're getting like a little too many drop frames you might want to try uh, far less fog harbor which is actually something a, a subscriber suggested to me a very long time ago and uh, that actually has been in my load order for quite a while This for me kind of brought it back down to the level of like you might see the frame drop here and there every now and then but it's nothing like it would have been if you had fog everywhere so hopefully these looks at Nuka World and Far Harbor were helpful. I think uh, looking at the outside areas are very important because I feel like that's when a lot of the performance issues start to arise. In conclusion, these games, uh, Fallout 4 and Skyrim specifically, I mean, they're made on the same engine pretty much. So a lot of the same things that you saw in the Skyrim 60 frames per second video are going to be about the same here. Main difference is going to be the mods you kind of have around it and your general load order because Skyrim has 5 gigs of mod space and Fallout 4 has 2 gigs of mod space. So that already, there's a lot of more mods that could potentially conflict with one another and then when you throw something like this in there it might give you another issue so those are all things that you want to consider before installing this but at the same time i do think you should try it because if you have a series x you want to push that console to its max so why not do it on a game that's several years old and actually has a mod that actually uncaps the frame rate but that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And to anyone who has tuned in this year at all, watching any of my videos, I really appreciate it. Whether you liked a video, commented, subscribed, I really appreciate all of it. I didn't think that this channel would really take off that much just because I was making videos on a game that I really liked and I was just kind of going on the mod journey myself. I figured I'd make a video one day and all of a sudden like there were a lot of people who also wanted to see the videos. That is super cool to me as we kind of learn and uh, go through this mod journey. I really appreciate you all being here with me. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great new year and I will see you in the new year.